Virgin Money UK is obviously a UK bank. Um, it was formerly owned by National Australia Bank, the Australian parent of BNZ. And uh, NAB, National Australia Bank, acquired uh, a business called Clydesdale back, back in 1989. Uh, and then in 2016, they actually decided to sell that business by doing a spin-off where they listed it as a separate business on the UK and also on the, on the Australian Stock Exchange. Uh, that business sort of became a little bit of an orphan because the UK economy was not doing too well with Brexit going backwards. Profits were slowly declining with interest rates going down and a lot of the shareholder base was actually located in Australia. Uh, and even that was legacy of the NAB ownership, and that meant there wasn't much interest in the stock. Uh, in 2018, there was a pretty key event, and that's where Clydesdale Bank acquired the Virgin Money brand, which was a banking and financing brand originally founded by Richard Branson. Uh, the two businesses merged, and they rebranded as Virgin Money UK in 2019. Well, COVID-19 was a very bad event for a lot of the banking stocks all around the world. Uh, it threw up a lot of uncertainty. Investors were expecting large loan losses uh, and, that, and a repeat of the kind of financial crisis that we saw back in 2009. So the bank share prices declined sharply. Virgin money uh, fell from a £1.90 pre-COVID all the way down to 72 cents uh, in October 2020. So that's a decline of over 60%. But at that time, Milford started seeing some positives. The UK government was providing an enormous amount of support. They provided bank guarantees and fiscal stimulus. And this meant that the loan losses investors were worried about didn't really eventuate. At the same time, of course, we've then learned that we got vaccines and the UK was actually one of the leading world economies in terms of a vaccine rollout. So we anticipated a stronger UK economy and then a stronger outlook for UK banks. Milford also actually had a very good experience in history with the Virgin Money, given we'd owned the debt since 2016. And we actually have a number of members of the investment team who have worked in the UK and a few who were actually born and grew up there as well. So Milford was able to accumulate more shares in the period of uncertainty around COVID when the stock traded under one pound per share. And then we had the vaccines, we had the improving UK economy and the stock has since rebounded to about two pounds per share. So that's up nearly 180% from where it was in only October last year. We still see a good outlook for Virgin Money for a few reasons. Firstly, the company's actually still to extract some cost savings from the merger between Clydesdale and the Virgin Money business. And we think these cost savings will add about 20% to earnings over the next few years. Secondly, as the UK economy improves very quickly, it's more likely that we're going to see interest rate rises in the near future. And interest rates rising typically get profit for bank earnings. And finally, the company still gives us what we think is a 10% dividend yield in the medium term, and we think that still undervalues the business. So we see more upside from a valuation perspective. <laughs>